Last Activity View. Last Activity View is another powerful tool developed by Nearsoft that allows the investigator to discover the last known resources that were being used on a specific information system. This can include applications that were running, files and folders that were opened, deleted files and folders, utilities being used, network and connection data, system errors, and much more. Understanding the last activities that were being conducted on a computer is important to an investigator for many reasons. First, it can help to determine whether or not a computer was used to conduct a certain activity. This could be a crime, or it could be system information during a cybersecurity incident in a business environment. Last Activity View can also help incident responders understand what went wrong in the event of a system error or crash on a device or network. Downloading Last Activity View. First, go to nearsoft.net and then click on the sidebar link that says System Tools. From here, scroll down until you see Last Activity View on the left side of the screen. Click the link and then scroll down until you see the link that says Download Last Activity View. Using Last Activity View. Once you've successfully downloaded the software, open it as the administrator. From here, you will be taken to a screen that looks like this. The system will automatically run and you will be presented with a display of all the activity that has taken place on that device since it was last powered on. This display will have columns that you can pan through to view the application type, file name, file location, time of use, and additional information. Everything that took place on that device will be displayed in the Last Activity View file log, even down to simple processes such as hibernation mode or sleep, which can be viewed in the example. If someone executed a process or downloaded a malicious file, this would appear in the activity log. If someone attempted to delete files or conduct destructive activities, this would also appear in the log. You would be able to narrow down the user, the action, and the time that a specific event took place, which is an extremely helpful function for a variety of purposes in the field of digital forensics.